Yeah, hello there from Shorecrest High School. And boy, does all of this remind me of one of those classic high school movies, you know, where the school is in trouble. Let's just say there's a pandemic. Budgets are cut. Programs like the arts are in real jeopardy. But of course, in the movies, it's kids who innovate. They get creative. They put on a show. They raise some money and save the day. Yeah, it's exactly like that. Yeah, hi, I'm Abby Brittle. I'm a senior here at Shorecrest, and I'm a director on More Than a Feeling. It's our original musical, and it's basically a project that we made during this pandemic. A lot of us collaborated, and we have actors and directors who filmed it and basically created an episodic TV musical series. It is now time to announce Shorecrest's secret special surprise. I was not excited about making a Zoom musical, and I was slowly seeing that be the path that I was on. And so I, I sort of reached out to my um, longtime musical collaborator. You know, it turns into seven episodes, and I think there's eight songs in total. Um, we were fortunate enough to have, you know, be able to have some really talented student songwriters take on the task of writing a couple songs. My name's Jude Ziliak. I'm a junior at Shorecrest and I'm a director of the third episode of More Than a Feeling. My job specifically was we used a green screen in the show and so I like learned how to do all that and how to set it up beforehand and how to edit it in post. And our story's quirky, it's weird, you know, but like it was like, how do you tie it all together and how do you make it feel like this thing exists in a world where COVID doesn't? With the Shorecrest as our, as our backdrop, it was kind of awesome. Tickets are 100% of our budget. Like that's how we pay for everything. The thing for us with this show is I didn't want it to be behind a paywall because I didn't want people to not see it. Putting it on YouTube made it accessible. A TV show sounds a lot scarier than a high school play, but being able to do a show that we can release for free on YouTube and simply ask for donations is like, what, what, what a blessing. That's what theater does for people. It celebrates life, it celebrates stories, and that's why we need it.